So we're going to tackle teen sex this week. You've been getting all these questions from teens asking when they should start having vaginal no, penetration. No, they're telling me that they're already having it. It's kind of scary. <laughs> oh, 15, 16, 14. 14. 14. What have, are you getting out of partner sex at 14? Like Nothing. Nothing. It, uh, the what, chances of you having an orgasm, right? Forget it. Very slim. You know nothing about your body. Your little boyfriend knows nothing about your body. And plus, he's going to come in two seconds because he's a little boy. <laughs> you know and what I mean? That's, just... Yeah, and that's what happens when they're young and randy and horny. Full of cum. Young, and dumb, and full of cum. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, I, I love smooching and, and manual sex. Hand jobs. Fabulous. Making I... out. Heavy petting, right? Playing with your boobs. Yep. Yep, we, out in Kansas, we called it smooching. We'd sit in the car for hours smooching, mwah, 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 and huggy, huggy, And there's huggy. so much build-up to that. Oh, it's so exciting. Yeah. But now they all want to stick it in, which is procreative. Well, that's how we define sex in the culture, though, don't you think? Totally. totally. That's sex. Yeah. Sex is when a penis goes inside a vagina. No. Sex is when you engage your clitoris and have an orgasm. You're not going to have an orgasm when the penis goes inside the vagina. Very, very, very rare. Very rare. I mean, how many, how many can you count on one hand, two hands? Yes, and that was after I really learned about myself and my body, like you yes. were saying. And yes. I really knew how to communicate that to my partner. And I feel like when you're that young, it's just the sex act alone is so intimidating. Okay, so here's the difference. When I was growing up, there was no online porn. There was no mm -hmm. online anything. There was no, no you know social media and the movies weren't as bold and, and open and out there as they are now. There was no MTV with all their softcore porn. Thank you. <laughs> you so, so we have to take into consideration that these young kids are getting bombarded visually with sex. And the message of what is sex and that they should be having it without any of the information <laughs> on how they can experience pleasure and do it safely. I just think for any young woman to risk getting pregnant and having an STD at that age... It's not, there's no way it's ever worth it. No, it's not worth there's it. There's no boy that's ever worth that because you're so fertile oh, during and, that period. Yeah, and then, but, oh, but when you're in love. You'll be in love many times <laughs> Many, in many, life. many times. Just love yourself first. And the whole thing that I got out of manual sex when I was a teenager is I was learning how to have an orgasm from somebody else's touch. Not your own. Yeah, and that was very exciting. And now they're jumping into, you know, pen vaginal penetration or anal penetration. Because they don't want to get pregnant. And all that means is that the little boy's going to come or ejaculate and or not. And that's the other thing. It, chances are good he, he won't be able to even. <laughs> it's just a slow down. Slow. Just back off. It's the, it isn't. And if you do penetration, you should always penetrate your vagina yourself first. first. I think that's why some women develop kind of a phobia of a penetration because you're kind of waiting there and you're not yeah. taking control of your body and you're waiting yeah. for some young boy to do it and then something hurts and then it becomes an issue. And then you're like, oh no, this it's painful. Do it yourself. And I see, I remember when we did it, um, I was with my girlfriend I, and we were in intermediate school and we wanted to learn how to do use a tampon. <laughs> and so it's like, oh, that doesn't feel good. That hurts. So, put, so we put Vaseline on it and we were, you know, and I don't know, maybe it's the angle. It was like, and oh, then we so would start sweet. laughing. It was, it was hysterical. And I think that's a great way to do it with your girlfriend. With you the know, tampon. With right. the tampon, not in a situation where you feel like you're judged and you don't even have the confidence yet in your body, you know, all those issues. And of course, the, the, the young boy, you know, his, he's got that, he's got the hormones. Well, and that's the whole point. So give him a hand job, mutual masturbation, watch each other. Yeah. You know, oral sex. There are so many other oh, ways. Oh, oral sex. Oh, that was very, oh, I didn't even know it existed. I really think it makes more sense to have a, to be in a relationship ongoing or have some kind of a, a more meaningful connection with the with the, the little boy that you have your first time penetration sex with. And I think you should have several conversations even before that because men will follow your lead. Any man will do whatever you say. If, like as a woman, we forget our power. If you come to a guy and say, you know what, we're not going to have vaginal sex right now, but I'm going to give you a great hand job and then you're going to give me a great hand job. And that's it from the beginning. He'll accept that because he wants any kind of sexual contact. And if he doesn't, move along. He's not worth it. So, please, darling, darling girls, teens, 
please, <laughs> please don't dive into vaginal sex right off. You have the rest of your life to do that. Yeah, really, really. And that really is procreative sex. It's not how we have orgasms. It is not how we can come. So we clitoral stimulation is it. That's where it's at. So play with each other's little dweewees, whatever you want to do, but don't let him stick it in. <laughs> whatever. Trust us.